Tobago Onions must now just wait and see. Its budget, presented by Finance Secretary Dr. Anselm London, seeks $3.5 billion for recurrent and development programs and a further $118.3 million to fund URP and CPAP on the island. It's the biggest request ever from a Tobago administration. And despite a gloomy outlook, having been painted by Finance Minister Winston Dukran, Dr. London believes it's not too much to ask. We are not persuaded nor are we impressed by the rhetoric and hold steadfastly to the view that although the pace of economic activity in this country may have slowed, the financial health of Trinidad and Tobago remains strong. For recurrent expenditure, personal expenses, $631.2 million, goods and services, $271.1 million, minor equipment purchases, $33.1 million, transfers and subsidies, $287.5 million. Under the development program, productive services, $2.7 million, economic infrastructure, $599.3 million, social infrastructure, $692.7 million, and multi-sectoral and other services, $200 $179.5 million. And Dr. London is heralding the PNM's fiscal management, saying it has helped Tobago cope through the global economic crisis. Indeed, Tobago was spared the worst consequences of the global economic slowdown because, the, because of the astute management of monetary policy by the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago and the ingenious recalibration of fiscal policy by PNM administrations at the level of the central government and the Tobago House of Assembly. The THA received $1.75 billion from the central government over the last year for recurrent expenditure and its development program, and a further $231.6 million was made available by way of unspent balances from previous years.